Rick, here's a practice throw from today, compared with Robert Harding, and we're just going to look at the back of the ring, and I'm going to show you what we're going to fix, and it's going to be the same in uh, rotational shot putting, and we fix this, and you're going to have great throws in bowls, okay? Here's old Robert, he's wi unwinding here, he's got his long, long arms, hey, that left arm is just a little high and rigid for you, I think you probably can see that, oops, hold on see that right he's level you're pointing up and we just got to relax that left arm a little bit and use our lower body to get us turning out of the back now watch Roberts left heel he has a little quirk in his technique that we don't want to copy and that is that he goes off on the side of his foot here see that he turns turns up on the side of his foot. We don't want to do that. But what we do want to do is turn that foot. Okay? So he's got that straight line from his armpit down through his knee. His foot is turned. His shoulders are level. And he's going to be able to run comfortably and efficiently to the center. So look at your foot here. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. So the only way for you to, to turn, I think the way, you, you know, you, you feel like you feel like the need to turn, which you do need to turn, right? We got to get you set up to run. But when you, with with your pulling that left arm, keeping that left foot, you know, stuck there and turning your head, there's no way you're going to get into this alignment. And this is what we want right here. Okay. So your left arm is is not helping you, and then. We've talked about this, so in order to keep your balance and not, you know, fall into the ring, fall forward, your left leg senses that it's got to balance you, and so it loops way up, okay? Here, let's take another look, Oops. let's take another look. So when it comes off the concrete, it shoots up there, okay? You're doing a good job, you're trying to keep, you know, lined up here, but... Again, in order to keep you from falling over, your left leg is taking that big looping path. Now watch Robert here. See where his left leg is compared to yours? It's going to stay on a low plane, on the same plane, out, around, and boom, he's down. Okay. Out, around, boop, boom. Yours is going to take a... a very inefficient path up and now it's going to swing down like a pendulum and I'm kind of a little bit up again right there okay but anyway what that's just robbing you of the ability to sprint across the ring we got to turn that left foot okay we got to get out of the back of the ring with calm shoulders long arms like this calm shoulders turn the crap out of that left foot watch Again, boom, turn, 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 turn. His head is calm. His left arm is calm. Now, when his right, excuse me, when his right foot comes off the concrete, it's low, and he's in a great position to run there. Great position to run to the center. Okay? So here's what we're going to work on Monday. And when we get this straightened out, big, big throws are coming. Level and relaxed with that left arm. Active turning with the left foot. Okay, nice calm head. Just like our guy here, except we don't want to turn on the outside of our foot. Calm head, relaxed, 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 turning hard down here. Notice that his left arm stays over his left leg, right? They're turning together, they're turning together. Here comes the right leg out and around. Boom. Okay. See how far in, how far ahead of your left leg your left arm gets. So let's calm that down. Let's get that straightened out, and let's have some big throws.